Valentine's Day is not just about men or women. It's about self-love. So my first video is gonna be in this new series. Blushes that I love. So I just went to Ulta. I got a couple things that I probably didn't really need. Do we ever need more makeup? Yeah, we do. It's been quite a while since I've showed my face on YouTube, so I'm back. You probably missed me, and if you didn't, hopefully you will after this one. Look at this lighting in here, oh my gosh. I want to go through my blush collection with you and share a couple of my favorite blushes. And then in the next few videos, I'm gonna kind of play with my Valentine's Day makeup routine. And I might have a special guest, so. I have a clean face. It is winter, not in Arizona. I am in Chicago. It is super dry. My lips are dry. Everything is dry. But that's all right. I needed a change of scenery. So let's start out with a couple new things. So I just went to Ulta. Spent a bunch of money that I probably shouldn't have. And let me see, what did I even freaking get here? Let me see, let me see, let me see. So I picked up, I've been struggling with my powder situation because I was using for a really long time this Tarte Shape Tape, which is a powder foundation. And with how much foundation that I put on my face, the MAC Studio Fix that I really like, and the it cosmetics foundation i don't really need a powder foundation it's just cakey it's heavy my skin's pretty good I, i'm not oily I'm, I'm actually more dry i've just been trying to use this up i don't know why i bought it because what i really needed was a priming powder a setting powder a translucent powder just because this stuff covers everything i wanted to do this video in crazy light because of my melasma I think it really will show exactly what my skin is in natural light compared to being in my dark apartment. So with that said on the powder situation, I was using this Velvet Luxe plush powder brush that I've had from It Cosmetics. Um, it just doesn't seem to wash very well to be honest, but I love all the It Cosmetics brushes. I have a bunch of them. But I have destroyed this brush by using it in a powder foundation, which this is not the right brush for brush for a powder foundation. I should have been using like this brush, I think, which obviously is a big difference. So now that I destroyed this brush, I felt like I needed to get a new brush <laughs> for my new powder. <laughs> so here we are, new powders, all this stuff. Um, and because I can't just get one thing, I had to get two things or three things or four things. So I also wanted to switch from this ghetto ass Ulta Professionals brush that I've had for, I don't know, 15 years. The wood is showing, it's literally sideways. <laughs> it's not even a, it's a highlighter powder brush. Like it's for like a highlighter, I think. It's not even for powder, so, or uh, it's not for blush. So this brush is gonna go in the garbage because I just got this new one. So I will link both of these brushes in the description below as I go through this. And I just kind of wanted to maybe try out the other part of this video. Yeah, there's so much going on. My two new blush, if I can get them open with my gnarly nails. There's so much going on in this video because I don't plan anything. I just point and shoot. So if you watched a previous video, my car got broken into, I lost a bunch of my makeup, super disappointing, but I was able to try new stuff with insurance, replacing everything. So this is my new favorite palette. And with all these crazy colors, I wanted to find a blush that maybe would work with those colors. Um, and I picked some that are on very different ends of the spectrum. So with that said, the go-to blush that I've been using for a really long time is this Sweet Enough Mineral Mineralized Blush from MAC. Um, I like it, but it definitely is more brown compared to like a pinky. That's why I wanted to get a pink. 
My long time go-to blush is Sweets for My Sweet. I can barely read the back of it because I've had this for so long. There's a lot of blush in this for MAC. Thank you, MAC. However, I feel like it's not being used up. So this blush is crazy, crazy um, magenta-y pink, kind of like almost like a Barbie pink, where this one is going to be that really soft pink. Um, this is doll face. I'll link all this stuff in the description below. Um, so this blush is just really, really, really dark for a lot of the crazy color makeup that I've been doing. So I just needed something more neutral, something different. Again, this one I like, but it's it's just brown base. It's just not my favorite. Um, it is my favorite. I like it, just not with everything that I wanted to. So there you go. And then I started digging through my makeup collection to see all the other old shit that I had. And I have this Benefit, <laughs> what is this? The Benefit Gold Rush, which is a warm golden nectar blush. Um, I like it, but it has a little shimmer in it. And I don't always like shimmer stuff, especially because my, um, my bronzer is shimmery. This is just too much shimmer. So I feel like if I'm just gonna wear blush and go to the beach, this is perfect. Love it, super old, need to use it up. It's garbage. Oh, I was trying not to do this. Shit. I just spilled this all over the place. Good thing I have this old brush. So, I don't know why I have Victoria's Secret. Oh, shit. Victoria's Secret blush, and I can't part with this palette. I really did like this palette, to be honest. Um, so much is left of it. I've dropped it a bunch of times. So this Victoria's Secret blush, it was a blush trio. So it had, it had, I think at one point, like a color like this. It had some really dark, more like purple based blushes, um, but it's gone. It's on its last life. So that's why I got two new blushes. So I'm really excited to try these blushes in this video. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my makeup to show you the difference between these two. Um, this one definitely is way more coral and this lighting is crazy, crazy, crazy. So I got my mirror, I got set up. I am at the kitchen table right now trying to do this video. Um, oh, and I'm blonde, so this is my first video back as a natural blonde. I've done a lot of things so far this year, so that's kind of cool. Let's, go. Let's get ready with me. Even though it's kind of pointless because the day is almost done. I feel like I needed to get something done today, so I might as well get ready. So it's not about my eyes. So I'm just going to use just some basic shades here. I just want to do like a light brown, like a very neutral eye, just to kind of play with these blushes that I just got. Because the point of this video is that I love myself, okay? <laughs> and you should love yourself too. <laughs> You should love what you put on your cheeks. And with Valentine's Day coming up, this was kind of the point of this was to kind of practice my Valentine's Day look. So this is gonna be part one. I really should have planned this better. So I'm really just doing just a very neutral, a neutral brown. Alta didn't carry the Sigma brushes because that is what I really wanted to get was a Sigma brush or another MAC brush, but they only carry the um, A Cosmetics ones, so. All right, the brush that I need, I lost it. I'm just gonna use that same brush that I had just to kind of darken this for some reason. And I really wanted to do this green in this palette. This green is so funky. But with the blushes I had, that was not gonna work, so. It's another reason I wanted to, I wanted to play with some blush to get out of my brown my brown shades that I've been using and kind of like the the, um, the blues, try to play with some more stuff. So my cat got a hold of my face the other day and it's finally healed, so I feel like that's why I can now like show up maybe. So I'm just kind of doing just a messy brown. Just to kind of get a little color on my eyes. Smack. It's 
so fun to be in crazy lighting like this. My apartment is so dark, but I felt like I was going crazy. <laughs> Literally from being in there without natural lighting, it was starting to affect me mentally. Um, so I wanted to get out of the house and take a road trip and just see how I felt because I wasn't feeling very healthy. So with that said, whatever you need to do to be your healthiest, best self, do it. Do what you need to do. Explore, dip, out, go shopping, do something. Because doing nothing will just drive you insane. My creative juices were non-existent. I was struggling. I was struggling to get ready for the day. This has started to take a toll on me. And I think we often neglect small things that are very important, especially as women. Getting ready is so important to me because it makes me feel like a million bucks. It makes me feel like I can... I can show up as my best self because I feel sexy, attractive, beautiful. I don't feel like a slob. I don't have porcelain skin. If I had porcelain skin and I didn't have to wear makeup, I probably wouldn't take getting ready so like getting ready so important in my routine and how I feel. But with my skin issues and aging, I want to show up and feel pretty and that requires me putting makeup on. And I'm okay with that. I don't mind, some days I don't mind being a woman. I love makeup, and I love when I can find my makeup. <laughs> and the next thing on my list is gonna be to get a concealer brush because this ghetto one I have is old. I think it was in like an Ipsy Glam bag, so the brushes, sorry, just crap. Not impressed. I think every time I wash this thing, like the hairs fall out of it. First time using this brush, I'm so excited. So this is the 225 com complexion brush. Um, it definitely feels like it's gonna fit into this better than this big MFR. Um, I literally do this and it just gets everywhere. I feel like more gets in the air than it gets on the brush. So I am just gonna dip. It's definitely holding the powder on. Yeah. So now I feel like I'm not wasting as much. I feel like a painter. Okay. Sold. It's soft. It is perfect sized. It's good. Okay, worth the worth the money on that. Solid. Don't need to complain. So I'm just gonna put on mascara quick. Finish with blush, and then it's just gonna be a very simple. Get ready with me. A minimal effort. Tried out these new products, my new brushes. Couple things I bought at Ulta. Feel pretty. And then you can kind of see too in this natural lighting how good um, the products that I use every day look. So filters. I forget how just it feels so good to wear mascara. If I had one beauty product I could use, just one. It'd be this mascara. It would be mascara in general. Cause I feel like I can have no makeup on. If I go to the beach, I usually just put on um, waterproof mascara. I tend to not be very smooth with my mascara and I tend to get it everywhere on my eyelid like it's eyeliner but it's not. So I take these little spoolies cause I love it. And it's full of fucking dog hair and cat hair and every hair and dust. And then I just kind of like gently because these things are really rough. I just, barely touch my skin just to get those like little pieces of mascara that I missed on my eyelash that's on my um that's on my eyelid off oh, is this mark oh that's a freaking mole okay cool so and then while I'm there I as well flush my fluff my eyebrows up and I do not have to fill them in right now because I got them tinted which I'm so excited about because I've been really struggling with that whole thing so what I've been waiting for drum roll <laughs> So this is going to be the Stilla, um, and before I purchased Stilla, I'm going to break this thing, good God, I went on to make sure that it was cruelty free. I do not think Stilla was. Oh, minor detail, this is a cream blush. <laughs> okay. 
So, that's that. Cool, good to know as I just drug the whole brush in that. Okay, so this is really pretty. It is definitely a coral, but it's not really going on that pink, to be honest. It doesn't seem to be going on as, as dark. I cannot believe I just drug that through and didn't realize that this was a cream blush. Okay, so this is my first experience with a cream blush. <laughs> cool. I'm feeling it. And I'm just going right on top of my cheeks. I have really high cheeks. I don't want to do it too far down. So that's that. Okay. And then I'm using the other side of the brush to do this. To kind of just see, so this actually almost has more of a purpley tone to it, surprisingly. I feel like I like this one better. This is this one. The one that I thought I wouldn't like, I do. Okay, so this one was supposed to be more of a pink blush, but it is definitely looking really purple to me. So, interesting, okay. Not a color that I'm really feeling. I think this one's gonna be kinda hard to use, to be honest, but I do not return makeup, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, huh, okay. Well, two different blushes. And I really went a little crazy on them, just to kinda, I'm gonna blend, just to kinda see what my thoughts are, so, okay. That's that, so I really like this brush. I do not know if this brush would really be good for a cream blush because I do not, I'm not a makeup professional. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm kind of putting it really high up, but I probably didn't need to go this far over like I am doing bronzer right now, but okay, I really do like this Stilla, uh, this Stilla blush and I guess it is a dual, oh, it says it's for lips too. Hmm. This might be, one of my new favorite things. Huh. Feeling it. Cool. Okay. Highly recommend. So basically it can be a lip color and a cream blush. Feeling it. How pretty is that? Cool. Hmm. So that's that. Little short Ulta haul, a little life update. Put makeup on. I actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer on with this other old brush, just to kind of see how the blushes look with bronzer. Cause when I'm done, I can't be done. This brush I have for bronzer is super old too, so I'm gonna replace this one next. It's just scratchy, um, it's an Ulta, I think it was an Ulta Professionals one, I can't even tell. It was not an It Cosmetics brush and I can definitely feel the difference. It feels really scratchy on my face. Okay. So I went really dark on the blush just to kind of really give it dimension to show the color difference. So what one is your favorite? Comment below. I'm Danny. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel before you leave. Lots of videos are available and stay tuned for a Valentine's video number two when I pick out one of my new blushes to do for my Valentine's Day makeup. So, see you soon.